Mitt Romney promised a big speech on the economy today. It turned out to be a real lemon. The football stadium seats about 80,000 people. Only problem, Romney had about 1,000 people in the crowd making the event look like a total flop. I guess we had a hard time finding a large enough place to meet, and this certainly is. Romney's campaign couldn't even fill all the chairs in the audience. Ron Paul appeared before an enthusiastic crowd, and many in the crowd were young. That he is the only one who can win against Barack Obama. He's the only one with appeal to the moderates and independents. He's the only one widely supported by our troops. And he's the only one with the army of young supporters needed to win. Yeah! You see that he's an honest and trustworthy man whose message of liberty is winning the hearts and minds of millions. It's my honor today to introduce this man who's changed my life, Dr. Congressman and Presidential Candidate Ron Paul. Paul spoke out against cradle-to-grave government roles in people's lives and excessive government spending. He wants a lower U.S. profile on the global stage. He says the system is not working. The evidence is so clear, it's not working. The people are sick and tired of the wars, and they're sick and tired of this weak economy right now. And he lashed out against the bank or any other government bailouts. This is the opportunity. This is the time we can do this because we need more control of the people. And that was called the Patriot Act. They passed that within two weeks. Now, I don't think the Patriot Act would have been passed if it would have been called repeal the Fourth Amendment Act. You know? <laughs>